This video is sponsored by EcoFlow and I thank them for the continued support of this channel and the products we do here. So let's get to the video. Okay, I am fairly certain I erased the footage from we started this whole project uh, three days ago. Uh, but it is now three days later from there. It is still very, very cold outside as you can see. Uh, what we were doing was I was trying to get my tractor started so I could go plow uh, Grumpy's driveway. Uh, Grumpy's uh, sick, hadn't been able to get out and plow his driveway so I was going to go plow it for him, but my tractor wouldn't start. I went through like half a can of uh, starting fluid, had my pickup hooked up to it, jumper boxes hooked up to it, and it just it won't start. It, it's really old and it's, it's really tired and it barely runs even on a warm summer day. So winter time, it's getting windy, uh, it doesn't start so easy just too cold for it so I fought it for a while I, I never ended up getting it didn't get to plow the driveway cleared up for a few days but the storm is coming back in tomorrow uh, again so I need to get the thing started the other thing that happened in that time is EcoFlow sent me their uh, rigid solar panels I had the flexible ones that you know that fold up and all that and these are for like mountain solid somewhere wow it is windy uh, mountain solid somewhere and feeding the power bank or something like that so they're supposed to be very efficient, even more efficient than the flexible solar panels. But if you go back and look at my uh, canoe camping video where I first did any EcoFlow stuff, I had a 160 watt flexible solar panel on the canoe and that clear sunny day, it was bringing in like 170, 175 watts. They're actually bringing in more than what they're rated for. So my plan was for now, cause this is kind of all I've got at the moment is uh, have the solar panels feeding the EcoFlow Delta II and then I've got this, uh, this heat wire here that we use on our water pipes here. We got them in all the piping in our pump house and all that over there uh, to keep it from freezing. And I plug that into the Delta II and I've got it wound all around the cylinder head, all around the injection pump, over there around the coolant lines. It goes down there around the block of the engine, just trying to like warm up the engine some so that hopefully this thing will start. So you can see it's not uh, sunny at all out right now. It's, it's like cloudy and all that. This is 200 watt panels, but I uh, don't know where my splitter cable is to hook the two together. So I'm only running one at the moment um, because yeah, I'm not like prepared or good at what I do. So I gotta go find the splitter cable so I can hook that one up too. Then hopefully we can get like, well, double the power going into this thing. Okay, it is the next day. The sun is out, but it's still very cold and windy. Whew, nice and warm. So they're still on, that's impressive. This is still going. That is amazing. So I am so freaking dumb. Uh, I could not find a splitter to hook these together that I thought I had so I could run both solar panels. And uh, turns out you, you don't need a splitter at all with this setup. Uh, I thought I did because the other brand of solar generator I had before the EcoFlow one, you had to have a splitter to hook two solar panels together. With the EcoFlow, you don't have to have that. You just run the cord from one to the other and then back out to your same cord that goes up to uh, the Delta or whatever the heck you have it plugged into. So now we're putting 178 watts in, taking 70 watts out to run this. So we're gaining quite a bit of power in that right now while running this. and. This is not frozen, frozen cold like it was, so it is keeping that block uh, fairly warm. I think I'll hook the jumper cables back to my truck and see if we can get it to fire. So dumb. They, they just hook together on their own, like you don't even need extra stuff, so. Point one for EcoFlow. much right now because I blocked them but I got the eco flow running the heat coil around the engine and we got it running finally oh 
Okay, we got the tractor in the shop. And my phone is ringing. All right, well, tractor is in the shop. I'll put a heat lamp under the hood for tonight now that I can plug it into electricity. We don't have power up there where it was at, so that's why I use the EcoFlow. And I, I could have used a normal generator, but then I've been running a gas engine generator all night long to try to keep it warm uh, when that Delta II unit uh, kept that thing running, that little heat coil, the entire night. You come out in the morning, I touched the heads, the block, and all that, and it was all like warm to the touch, which is super impressive that it ran that long especially since i didn't have the extra battery pack hooked to it or anything like that and then when the sun came out this morning those solar panels were charging it right back up so that worked really well in a situation where i needed power and didn't have power available and didn't want to run generators so if the weatherman is correct when we wake up in the morning this should all be a nice big layer of white even though it's blue sunny sky right now and if it wasn't for the snow on the ground, you'd never know. It's like 25 degrees out here. Then we can take this thing over and make sure Grumpy's driveway is plowed and good to go so they can get in and out easy if they need. Granted, it's not going to snow enough that they couldn't drive through it, but like I said, Grump Grumpy keeps his driveway nice and plowed, always clean. It, his whole place is very well taken care of. So, well, he's sick and laid up. We, we want to keep it looking like that. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow and the next few days if it keeps on snowing. So the EcoFlow unit uh, saved the day after three days of trying to get this tractor started, uh, having that on it overnight and keeping that block warm and we got it fired up the next morning. So that was a major plus. And in case you haven't guessed by now, uh, this video is sponsored by EcoFlow and their Christmas sale that they have uh, coming up or already started. I'm not sure I'll have to look at the dates exactly uh, when I post this video. And I just uh, remembered that I just forgot all of the important information about the sale that I'm supposed to tell you. So hold on one sec while I uh, look at my phone and see. So it turns out this sale is uh, going on right now already, like this whole month, uh, all the way up until the 26th, and I am late. Sorry about that. Uh, I never said I was good at this. So there's a few different promotions they have going on. If you spend a certain dollar amount, uh, you can get the Delta Mini or the River Mini for free. Uh, there's discounts across most all of their products. And in the description below, I will have links to their Amazon store as well as their actual website where these discounts should all work just fine. I checked them this time to make sure and they are affiliate links. So they do help out this channel when you guys purchase from EcoFlow and that is very much appreciated because EcoFlow has been a big supporter of what I do with this channel and has helped out far beyond just the affiliate deals. They've been a very, very good partner to work with. And I would say one of my favorite things about working with them has been in the comments of these videos, people who have already purchased EcoFlow stuff in the past and people who have purchased it because of my videos have all had nothing but good to say. And I don't think I could come up with a better testimonial to them than that right there because those are people who paid full price out of pocket and are perfectly happy with what they got. And that's as good as you can ask for. So now when it comes to the uses of these things, I know what's most talked about is power outage situations. And uh, most of the reviews are stuff like, oh, look, it works this coffee maker and things like that. But they are so useful, so far beyond just that sort of scenario. Like this, for example, uh, how did we run power to a makeshift block heater on an old worn out tractor all night long in teen temperatures? Uh, well, we hooked the EcoFlow to it and uh, we have power running to the block of that tractor all night long. We were able to get started this morning and moved into the shop where I can keep heat on it all night again tonight. Another scenario, uh, my buddy Wes, uh, he's a contractor, does home renovations and repairs and stuff like that. And uh, he's in a video you either just saw or just are about to see. I'm not exactly sure which one yet, uh, but if it's already posted, I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. But anyway, he's a, he's a contractor, does home renovations, repairs. He's running chop saws. He's charging his batteries for his tools, stuff like that. And he's running a generator to do it if there's not power at the home. Well, if you had something like the Delta unit or the smart generator hooked with the Delta Pro or something like that where it starts and stops automatically, uh, he could be working all day long to run his chop saw and all that stuff with no generator engine noise running the whole time. And if he's using like the smart generator, it can just kick on when needed, charge the power bank, shut back off. Your chop saw works just fine. All your tool batteries and all that can be charging the whole time and you're not having to run and listen to a generator the whole time. And I know a lot of people said, yeah, but when a generator's not under a load, it's barely burning any fuel. So it's not really as inefficient as you say. True, 
but you're also still putting the same amount of hours and engine revolutions on that generator, so you're still, your maintenance intervals and all that are still the same as if it was under load. Now, another scenario that I know most people have not thought of, but uh, a friend of mine uh, back in California has a dirt work construction company, and they do like site prep for subdivisions and all that type of stuff. So when they move into a place, they're there for a few months, and they bring in like an office trailer to set up to be like their office on site for the whole time. And what they used to do is they would bring in those portable power poles and pay the power company to run power in so they'd have power at their office. But, and I didn't know this until I posted the video about the smart generator, is he ended up buying one of those dual fuel smart generators and the Delta Pro or Delta Max, I'm not sure which, and uh, whichever one has a 30 amp plug, I think Max. And uh, he plugs that into his office trailer and puts out solar panels on the roof that feed into the Delta unit and then the smart generator is hooked to it, hooked to propane and he says in good sunlight days and all that the generator never starts up. He has his lights running all day, computers going, charging their job site radios all night long, no problems at all and then if for some reason they have a big power load they need like they're running a lot of extension cords off that office trailer or something like that then that smart generator will fire up as needed to meet those power demands and when it's not it'll shut back off. That was something I didn't even think of. And after that video, he texted me, he's like, hey, we've been using that stuff for a while now. It saved us a ton of money and having to have portable power poles running out of the job site. And I know a lot of people that watch this channel are construction guys. So these things have a whole lot more uses than just uh, backup for uh, power out of situations, which they're obviously good for that too. So very, very useful units, very good sale going on right now. Links are in the description down below. And again, huge thank you to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video and uh, this channel in general and helping allow me to do the things I do for other people because companies like that are what keeps this happening. Enough talking. Let's, uh, well, I'm going to set the heat lamp up on this thing. Close up the door so it stays a little bit okay warm in here and let's go plow some snow. Oh, the weatherman was finally right. It is snowing. It's snowing good. So we are going to go plow some snow. Now after having the heat lamp on it all night, the tractor did start. It took a healthy dose of the starting fluid still, but it started. So we are going to grab a snow shovel so we can do the sidewalk too, and then uh, head over to Grumpy's. Just had to clear out in front of the gate right here so that the gates would open. So we'll stop. Uh, looks like that gate will clear. It's high enough if we just open it. So we'll open it and start plowing. Okay, I was wrong. It would not open, so I shoveled all this out. Now we can start plowing. like a greater blade but I don't have a plow blade so this is what we got so we'll make it work
I forgot that the bucket bleeds off and dumps down, so probably wasn't a super great spot to put the camera. Got the driveway done enough, I'm not gonna worry about Grumpy's truck because it doesn't have to go anywhere. But in case Mrs. Grumpy has to leave, this is all clear. And the whole circle driveway is clear to head back out. So we're gonna head back over to my house. now and it's time to go to work. I want to plow mine too but I got a job, recovery job to go do. Um, come on. Get down there. So once again, quiet. A big thank you to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video and helping get this tractor started so that we could go help Grumpy. Um, was there about 10 other ways I could have got it started? Yes, but that way worked and it just kind of opens up more possibilities of what this new technology can be useful for that uh, I wouldn't have thought of before. So everybody go tell Grumpy uh, get well soon because he needs to get back out here with us. Then also go tell EcoFlow thank you for uh, helping get this tractor started so we could go help out Grumpy. Now Alex is here. He's standing out in the cold in the snow because he's waiting to go on recovery stuff. Oh don't fall down. I'd get that on camera so good. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. We're going to go do recovery stuff that you will see in another video. There he is. There he is. And uh, we'll see you next time. Say goodbye. Bye. You didn't even say hi, but you get to say goodbye. It's perfect. I said, I yeah. hi. It makes total sense. <laughs>